and we're back. Okay, so look at all these emails I've gotten from myself, um, from my other account. Okay, now you've got to understand with emails, the newest ones are always at the top. Okay, so this is the newest one. I'm not really going to open up this one first because I can see that these other ones might have come before it. Otherwise, I might not really understand what the conversation is. So sometimes you have to go backwards in time and find the one uh, that we're going to do. Oh, first, uh, answer the three questions one. Let's see, uh, I'm not going anywhere for spring break this year. I'm just gonna go camping uh, near my home. Do you have any brothers and sisters? And I can uh, reply to that one. Yes, I have uh, two brothers and two and dogs, <laughs> sisters. Uh, okay, so you get the idea of how to uh, reply and send messages back and forth to each other. Let me go back to my inbox here. Let's see the next one, a butterfly picture needed. Uh, hey Brad, could you please send me a photo of a butterfly for the insect presentation for Thursday? Thanks Tom. Okay, so I guess we better go get that butterfly. I'm gonna open up another tab here. I'm just going to go to uh, Google. Okay, now I'm in Google. I'm gonna go to images. I'm gonna just tap right there. So you know I'm in Google images, butterfly. Okay, now just with uh, the other lessons that you've had from me, we always go to tools and we always say size large. This is gonna keep us from having those bad, pixely, grainy, bad images of uh, butterflies here. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Uh, this is a little pixely, but I know it's loading in, so just give it a moment here to come in off the internet. No, it doesn't seem to be getting any better, so uh, let's, let's move on to another one, no. A no to this one because there's words written all across it. See that? It's got a watermark on it. Definitely a no. Uh, this guy looks like more like a moth to me. Ooh, very pretty. That one looks very nice. I think that would be good in our... Oh, even better. I love this one here. Okay, so now there's a few things we need to do here. We need to get this image to our downloads folder so we can send it to Tom. Okay, so uh, what I can do is I can just uh, right click on it and I can save image to downloads, okay? So you can see it now it's been downloaded to my computer. I'm gonna also right click on it and open image in new tab. Okay, so now, um, let's see, go back here. So you can see now, um, oh, it didn't, it didn't open up, let me try it again. Uh, open image in new tab. <laughs> it keeps just downloading it. Okay, that's, that's not the right thing we want to do. I need to get this image by itself so I can do proper citation. Let me just go ahead on to share here. There we go. I need, I need to get a link to it. You guys understand that. Every image that we use off the internet, we have to give proper citation for it. So there's a good way to get the link. Just uh, go to share and then uh, copy the link there. So I'm just going to edit, uh, copy that. Okay, so now let's go back to our buddy uh, Tom in his email here. So here's this, uh, needing a butterfly picture. I'm just going to reply. Uh, here it is. And no, I'm not going to start a sentence with it. This is the citation for it. I'm going to paste that on there. So we got the proper citation there. And now I still don't have the image. Okay. So uh, I'm going to have to attach a file here. I know this one here is insert photo and they kind of both work the same way. Uh, this obviously works for photos. If we had to attach something like a report, then we would attach files. But since it's a photo, I'm gonna go ahead and insert photo. And um, you don't have any photos in your Google Photos. Well, that's kind of good. I can upload it here, go to my downloads. There's my photo of a butterfly. Okay, so he's now got the photo of the butterfly. Do you see how I did all that? Just just tapped on the insert photo. I could, let me just go ahead and delete it here so it's gone. Okay, now if I wanted to, I could just use the paper clip and maybe next time. And it just tells me where do you want to get that from. I go to my downloads folder and from today, you know it's from today, so it's this guy right here and choose. And all it does is really just now show the link for Tom to download on his end. So this actually puts the photo in there so you can see it, but this one, the photo is still there. It's just a link, okay? But either way works. So these are the little buttons you have down here to attach things to your email. And I go ahead and send that.
There, you can see it right there in the email. Okay, so now let's go back to our inbox, see what else we have here. Oh, a sloth photo. So now uh, I've had Tom send me a sloth photo. So here's my sloth photo, and I've got two choices here. I can download it to my MacBook, or I can download it to my drive. Depending on what you need to use it for, you'll pick whichever one is appropriate for you. I'm going to download this to my downloads folder. Boom, there it goes. Wait for it to download. Hey, look at that beautiful sloth. Oh, he's just lovely. Let's zoom in on him. Oh, look at the detail. Look at Tom knows how to send good photos because this is a nice, clear image, even if he's got some boogie thing up his nose. But anyhow, it's a nice, clear image because remember, the world has enough bad images and we don't believe in sending each other bad images. Okay, so now you can see then, back to my email, that's how to send somebody a photo and how to receive a photo. In the next video, we're gonna talk about this last email here, and that is how to share a report, um, uh, a PDF of a report, and also maybe how to share it with somebody. Oh, we already covered that in docs, so let's just talk about uh, sending the report here. We'll do that in the next video.